stuff smells terrible. Terrible. But it works really, really well. There we go. Yeah. All right, we're going to take that back a step here, and I'm going to show you how to oxidize your silver from the start to finish using a few simple ingredients and tools. The tools needed here are really quite simple. You're going to need some compressed air or a paper towel to dry off the jewelry. Of course, you're going to need a ring or pendant or whatever you plan on oxidizing in sterling silver. We're going to be using liver of sulfur. This is in its granular form here. Chunks. We we'll need two mason jars, something to dip the jewelry into the jars with, a plastic spoon, and some boiling water. The ring I'm going to be oxidizing is sterling silver, and it has a deeply recessed design here, which is going to be perfect for a high contrast finish. Now, I haven't bothered to complete the, the polishing on this ring, because after you oxidize it, if you want that high contrast look, you're going to have to polish again anyways. So usually I bring these to about a satin finish before I apply the oxidizing. Also, be sure to have a clean surface before doing the next step. To start out with, we're just going to grab a little piece of the verse sulfur out of here. Two small pieces, about the size of a pea, will be just fine. Make sure to keep this closed when not in use because the humidity can cause it to go bad prematurely. Next, go ahead and pour in some boiling water. You'll see that it goes ahead and it's turning a nice deep yellow color right off the bat. We've got this jar now here full of cold tap water. Now all we're going to do Put the ring on this hook here and dip it into the solution. And here you go, you can see after just a few short seconds, the ring has turned a nice deep gray color. If you're not satisfied with the darkness, you can put it in for a little longer, but there's a limitation to just how dark silver can get. We are actually oxidizing the metal, so this is not applying a paint or surface finish. It is actually darkening the silver itself. Once you're done, you can simply put it onto the paper towel and either blot it dry, or you can use compressed air, which is one thing I like to do because it's going to get all the water out of the nooks and crannies. There you go. Nice and dark. After this, you can go ahead and finish polishing up the ring. I usually like to use harder rubberized wheels because they're going to, to remove the oxidization from the surface and leave it in all the recessed areas. I'll do that real quick and then show you the results. All right, that's it for today. Oxidizing silver is a very simple, easy, and effective way to create high contrast jewelry that will really pop. Now, I do want to point out that oxidization is a natural process where you're actually oxidizing the metal. This is not really any different than other metals which oxidize, like aluminum, which turns white, or iron, which turns red. In the case of sterling silver, it turns a dark gray. Now, there are other are other ways of achieving a darkened or patinaed finish on silver or even gold, but most of them involve painting on a black coating and then removing it as you would normally. Now, having used quite a few different products, I have found that liver of sulfur is my favorite, but feel free to experiment with other options. Thanks for watching. I'll be posting more videos, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see when the latest class is updated and ready to watch.